Hi and welcome to an all new Writer's Lounge podcast. I'm your host for the series, Steve Sommerfeld, and this is another Throwback Thursday. Actually, it's not Thursday anymore. It's well into Friday morning, 1.30 in the morning. I've just wrapped this one up with Clint Esposito on the Two Wheels to Freedom channel. And this time, we watched the 2006 X Games Freestyle Moto. And this was a crazy competition. Only five riders made it, well, at least to the final of this competition with Travis Pastrana, Mike Mason, Adam Jones, Jim McNeil, and there's one more rider. Who the hell did I forget? Anyway, you'll figure it out. It's all in this episode. It's 1.30 in the morning and I'm tired. Now, actually, <laughs> I think the main part about this, uh, this is the end discussion. So basically, if you want to watch the full episode that we just did tune into the two wheels to freedom youtube channel where you actually get to see the footage this is not the footage this is just clint and i at the end of that episode wrapping up what we saw what went down what surprised us we're looking back at a competition that happened 18 years ago and we're trying to remember what was the freestyle motocross world like back then Because you have to think about what was a new trick. Travis Pastrana just did a lazy boy backflip. Well, that's absolutely relatively normal these days. This was one of the first times we ever saw it. Maybe the first time. There were seat grab indie flips. There was like a KOD 90 degrees to the bike Superman flip. And half of it was like, wait, when was ruler flips? Okay, what what is the timeline here? Why is this run scored higher than that run? It's actually it's actually a lot harder than you think. And I make this sound difficult. It's not that difficult. We're just sitting here watching freestyle videos and trying to tell ourselves that it's work. But it is interesting to look back at this period of time with the knowledge that we have 18 years later it was a really cool competition i hope you guys enjoy this discussion actually we kind of veered off track a lot in this one so if you just want to hang around listen to two clowns just talking about freestyle moto best you just sit here and enjoy if you actually want to watch it like i said check out youtube if you really want to watch the competition without us talking about it you'll find the video i'm going to pop this up right now it is on the Moto Psycho, Freestyle Moto Psycho channel on YouTube. And uh, yeah, I want to say a huge thanks to whoever's running that channel for putting this competition up. It's awesome. Thank you very much, guys. Grab yourself a Rothhouse Ten and Zapfler alcohol free and enjoy this Throwback Thursday. <laughs> And that double flip. Look at that. This is the last clip of this whole thing. Oh, maybe not. There's a little Man. Bit no, that's it. I'm getting goosebumps again. It feels yeah. like I'm in 2006 watching this. Hey, is it just me or is there angels and airwaves playing right now? Yeah. There is? Sounds like it. I'm like, is that coming through just my earphones? No, that's on... Is... Um... The broadcast. That game. If it can happen, it will happen. Was Angels and Airwaves 06? Apparently. I wouldn't have guessed who that was, but... That doesn't seem right. I would have thought 06 was still Blink-182 full gas. Oh, maybe. Oh, uh, 06? I don't know. Angels and Airwaves uh oh oh five okay there you go yeah i'm sure that was angels and airwaves that was just playing could be wrong but i'm i'm pretty sure that's who it was john says they were going back out for the special motocross madness pay-per-view special that they were doing after the comps how the hell does he remember this stuff i don't remember this even being a thing at all um 
basically everyone that wasn't hurt went out and did trains through the course and stuff. Well, they had to because Travis didn't do his final run, and there was going to be a riot if, they didn't get if to there see was no more action. <laughs> They'd be like, we paid for Travis. Yeah. We won more moto, and you only gave us five riders. That's true, too. But they were doing a pay-per-view. That's cool, though. So what was a pay-per-view for Motocross Mad? Well, as in the video game, Motocross Madness. Is that... I don't know. You're asking the wrong guy. I'm waiting for him to comment. John, John, <laughs> was that the video game? Is that what you were talking about? <laughs> oh, man, it's so good to have John on here in the background. I, I Do I have to sign up to Rumble just to see what he's saying? Or maybe you can just text him the, what's in our group. That would be yeah. even easier. Sign up for Rumble so that I'm going to send you a referral. So you get code. more money if I <laughs> sign up to Rumble. No, only if you <laughs> generate money, then I'll get a ref. Um, but then at least, oh no, just watch the commercials for me. 10 cents. I'm going to do all that for 10 cents. (laughs) If you watch all the commercials for me. And only five riders. And only five guys. This is why they eventually went to like quarter pipe instead of best trick, you know, like regular best (laughs) trick. I want to wipe the field out. (laughs) Yeah, exactly. That's, that is why they started doing quarter pipe best trick because they were like less people get hurt doing this than they do going 75 and like landing on their faces yeah true which they still i guess travis is the only one that does best trick right yeah (laughs) didn't jacko strong go and double flip out of the quarter pipe destroy himself yeah well, that was the. Uh, yeah. Or did he land that one? The Either open... way, all I remember is he went to hospital and got flown back yeah. in the helicopter. I was there. Well, yeah. I was there at that one. Um, yeah, he double. It was an open flip. Isn't that what they were calling yeah. it? Yeah. It was a double open flip, open yeah. loop or something. And egg uh, roll. yeah, I don't know. he landed. Double egg roll. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's the thing. You're not supposed to double flip those. I think that's the problem. I think that's what happened. No, he went like, seriously, the thing's vertical and he Mm. went so friggin' high and then, yeah, blasted his throat off of the, off of the, um, handlebars. They took him to the hospital and then, uh, when they checked him out and they're like, okay, your throat's not like blown apart. You're okay. The, uh, helicopter was still there. So he ran out to the helicopter people and was like, yo, fly me back. Will you fly me back? And they were like, yeah. So then he gets in the helicopter. He's flying back and he calls Deegan and those guys. And he's like, get my bike ready. Like, I'm on my way back. And they're like, what? And he's like, yeah, I'm in the helicopter on my way back. Get my, like, fix my bars or whatever. Imagine if he got back and his bike was destroyed. Like, you just used... A hell of a piece of health infrastructure yeah. to get back to an event you can't even ride. <laughs> no, he rode. That I don't remember. well for Jacko. Yeah, for sure. But that was, I was like around some of those guys that, you know, at that event because we were, they didn't, I was there. Um, it, that one was in Austin. And um, yeah. I knew, I had a bunch of friends there. So they knew, you know, all the places to go and all that shit. So I was, uh, you know, like around those guys a bunch. Um, so they were telling me that story, you know, he's like, dude, the the helicopter guys are still there. Just ask them, fly me back. Like, that was just perfect. Oh man. No, but I'm, it's funny because, so if this was 06 freestyle, we watched 07 best trick last week, wasn't it? Mm, I want to say. So then was it 07 freestyle then when Travis did the double? in the run or was that no i think that that was the navy uh yeah i think it was that big air bash or something whatever the hell it was called remember he he did it in a run i think yeah no that um you did you are correct and scott murray was there yeah it was the navy moto x okay something because that's 
that's kind of what I was half thinking this event was. Like I, I, I merged. Oh, he said it was 2010 X Games. Ten? Oh, far out, man! I've, I've really. I gave myself like a couple of bonus points before because I remember like, <laughs> one rally. thing, and now you're all cocky. Yeah, I got cocky, didn't I? I'm like, yeah, Colin McRae and Travis in the rally cars, and he got gold. Yeah, I got cocky. Yeah, well, there you go. Um, but yeah, so for 06, though, for only five riders, everybody else either wiped out. Well, they, I guess they just all wiped out. Kenny Bartram there with two busted arms. That was pretty nuts. It was a good competition, though. Like, they yeah. were all solid runs. I agree. And, you know, it's just our gauge is hard because, and especially we're yeah. jumping around a bit with years, so it's really hard to remember exactly what was brand new at the time. Yeah. And X Games is all about what's brand new as well. Yeah. Well, that's why when we were talking about McNeil, I was oh, like, wow. obviously the tricks he's doing, there's only a handful of people doing like seat grab flips and stuff at that time. And I do remember yeah. McNeil being one of the first to get on the seat, seat grab flip train. I remember being like, oh, damn. Isn't this weird to think that a seat grab indie flip was done before a ruler flip? If 07, if that's what John was I saying, 07 was the, when the ruler flips happened. I think oh. the flip lever thing opened that door. Yeah, true. But I just think like seat grab flips, is, it is a technical trick. Think about it. In Loads Europe, of... they can't even do no-footed knacks without flip levers. I couldn't do it. <laughs> I couldn't either. I oh, learned them like upright. three times. You mean upright, not without yeah, a back? Flip. Yeah, exactly. Just regular. Oh. No yeah, okay. I, I, I was like, yeah, man, I, I can't do it without the flip levers on a flip. But yeah, no, no. just regular upright, no foot in there. Yeah, no, then, yeah, you're right. <laughs> but if, no, I'm not going to say anything. I've got a lot of friends yeah. over here. I'm gonna, <laughs> there's going to be a lot less I'd couches take, for me to sleep on if I, I say any more. <laughs> I like to take chances and have people mad yeah, at I, me when they run into I me. I don't. I need couches to sleep on, man. <laughs> Most of the people that you've just upset is where I'm going for holidays. Just, listen, I never even did regular no knacks. I, I learned them to both sides and knocked yeah. myself out two or three times doing them. And I was like, oh. eh, I'm good not on that it. one. I don't think I'm going to do no knacks. <laughs> I'm not, not meant not to do it. no knacks, I don't think. Not, not worth it. It ain't happening. Yeah. No. Uh, but yeah, the, but the crazy thing is, though, those five riders did five freaking good runs Trav obviously took the win that was easy but yeah like that was wild there was not a shit run there was even with the mistakes okay mate Adam Johnson. I was just gonna say I would say that would be the the worst run and only because after he flubbed that jump up then he just kind of rode around in the tail yeah I was like nah screw it um, and even then he only did a, uh, like he, he flubbed the next one and then maybe yeah. caught over. Well, that's what it is. He tried to get himself back on track and then messed that one up. and was like, it's over. Yeah, it's, it's <sighs> done. Angry Adam's back. I've had enough of this. I'm out. Yeah. Um, John said that your uh, no-footed neck indies were awesome. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> Way back when you used to do them. That's a long time ago. <laughs> I was I saw something. Uh, I think it was actually Red Bull Rampage. Like my YouTube just like scrolled to another video, and somebody was doing like Superman indies, and yeah. I did those for like that was like one of my go to tricks early on in my career after watching Matt Byton in um, whatever the hell it was that first movie that they were in, on the pipe or something. And he was doing these big Superman indies. And I don't even do regular Supermans. I, like, never did. But I could do super <laughs> indies for, like, two years. Yeah. And then I just never did them again. You mean, as in, like, so your body's just... Over the... Like, straight above the bike like that and just indie. Yeah. I don't even think I could do that. I did them big for, a cut like, two or three years right in the beginning of my career. Mm. And then I hung mm. my foot up on my fender and then that was it i never did them again <laughs> not supposed <laughs> to kick down there 
I know, believe me. There's a bunch of things. No uh, super cans. Got hung up coming back from one once and was like, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you just gotta have some spatial awareness of where that that twisting leg goes. That's that's well. Fun. This is late information, Steve. So sorry. This would have been good to know. Long, <laughs> sorry no. about that. I mean, I get no. it, and but I didn't yeah. want to have to be like, make sure your leg is up. Make sure your leg is up. I I just always try to just keep every like yeah, just try and keep my feet as high as i could possibly get them. Yeah. out of pure fear of watching videos probably of you like i'm i'm not doing it i'm not i keep my feet up keep my feet up yeah like, that was number one um but actually uh john like if that double knack indie that you were talking about the reason i did them was because i was watching basically travis do them like that was my one of my favorite tricks and trav did it on that clip there i was like i just if I can do a double neck indie or whatever you whatever you call it, I call it double neck indie. Yeah. If I can do it that big, I'm happy. That's that's my number one go to. Um that was basically it. And rulers actually. Rulers like like Trav. Yeah. Um no. John said that you had a combo with a knack in a box to no footed knack indie that he loved. Do you like, feel creep? I, do you feel creeped out right now? A little bit because not <laughs> many people saw that. I see. This is half of my problem is I don't actually have much footage of when I rode, and that was a fun trick that I used to do. It was tough though. It was really, it was hard see, to this... get twisted from one direction because you're knacking in the box towards the bike and then twisting back the other way but you would like windy. kick off of the bike with that foot and then neck yeah and, then, and, and yeah then. and it it hurt my back so much every time i did it uh that i didn't actually do it that often like i'd probably do maybe two a day knack in the <laughs> but, box it, uh i love that trick the only person i've actually i don't remember who originally labor ryan labor dude yeah. he made so many good like so many cool little tricks, Leba did. Yeah. Um, well, he did. Yeah, shoebox, knack in the box. Exactly. So the only other person I've ever seen do that is Javier. Oh yeah. He would always do knack in the boxes and uh, shoe boxes, and I was always like, dude, I love that you do that. Man, he Javier. Yeah, because Javier is so small, he can do a shoebox and stand up nearly straight. And, and his hands are like right height. next to the handlebars anyway. <laughs> like you gotta there lean no yourself risk. forward. <laughs> there was no risk. There's actually there's a there's a guy who rides with Squibby, um, Pash. Yeah, I know and... Pash. He came over and stayed at my house. Really? Yeah. Get the hell out. There yep. you go. That's Pash cool. and Joe Stevens came and stayed at my house for like so I talked to Joe. they're both obviously from Australia. Or is Pash England. from no, well, so oh yeah, 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 you're right. Uh, Joe Stevens yeah. moved to Australia now. Yeah, that's why I got confused. They wrote me on MySpace. Ooh. Joe did, and was just like, "Hey, I'm gonna come come over." And I was like, at the time, I had the course and stuff, and there was just people in the house all the time, and my roommate didn't care. The guy that owned the house, and um, he's they're just met, hey, this is gonna be crazy, but I want to come over and ride the IFMAs and blah blah blah. And I was like, okay. Or no, he wasn't yeah. even going to ride those. He just wanted to come over and ride. So why he picked Georgia? You got me. I have no idea. I think because somebody had said, maybe Pash was over the year. I thought they came together. I don't know how he found out who I was. But anyway, maybe Freestyle MTX. I have no idea. So it he just starts writing me. And then mm. like a month later, I just pick him up from the airport, him and Pash. And they just come and stay at the house for like months. No way. Yeah. That's cool. I had no idea. Yeah. Far out. Oh, Pash. Well, all I was going to say was um, Pash is another dude who I probably one of the biggest shoeboxes I've ever seen. Really? Like, yeah. Damn. He'll do them like in 40 mile an hour winds <laughs> and rain just like stinging your face or whatever like 
he'll just shoebox the shit out of anything. Awesome. And they're massive. I, I love like, that trick. Now that you say yeah. that, I feel like I might have seen some pictures. And yeah. been like, that's awesome. But it's been a while, obviously. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, no, I mean, that, there's probably not much more to really say about 06 FMX because I would say five, five riders guys. rode, Travis won again. We may have to watch uh, Step Up. But, well, hang on, hang on. Was it 04 that he'd already been beaten? 04. Three X-Men's. or something, or four, he said. 03, I thought he said. I feel like that's early. I'm going to doubt you, John, if you said 03. I'm going I think back to 04 X Games, FMX Nate Adams. I'm pretty sure he won. 03 Gravity. Remember? Yeah, 03 Gravity. Uh, but when did Nate beat Travis in a freestyle run? Well, here, here he said this was the rest of the story. 03 Gravity was the last all dirt course they had. Pastrana knocked himself out trying a Superman C grab flip. And Nate ended up hmm. win, taking the win. So that's why they were like still undefeated. Yeah. <laughs> You're in the competition. Like, <laughs> just because you not, got knocked out doesn't mean. Nope. Didn't count. It didn't finish. Didn't a count, run. Doesn't, <laughs> doesn't count. I would have went along with that too. In the, in the <laughs> you were I a was, Travis I was on guy. Team, huh? I was on team 199, man. Got I, I would have went along with that. All right. You shill. All right. Shill for the 199. So that was, yeah, I was. <laughs> it didn't even get you on Nitro Circus. No. You just. Did, didn't even get a gig there. Pledging allegiance there. Pledged up. <laughs> uh, no, Travis was the man. I mean, who was betting against him other than people that wore all black metal militia stuff in the 2000s? That's it. And that was like when, when we went riding, there was the metal militia guys. Yeah. Who had their bikes cut up. With the shortest fenders you'll ever see. Um, Probably to a point. So it's oh yeah, more dangerous. Definitely. Or even like a, try and make little flame shapes. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. And then there was like the... Yeah. You there you go. Me. Technically, Travis knocked himself out in prelims in 04 doing a 360, but he still rode the finals. Oh, no 360s in the finals, though, which is why. See, he said 04 was Travis's first X Games loss. So that was when. So Nathan I want to say 03 yeah. then X Games is the year that we want to watch where we're like pretty sure. Yeah. Nate should have won. We need to watch that one and we need to watch, and we've talked about this before, the X Fighters where um Levi wins with solely style because he got out tripped. Oh yeah. He wasn't flipping yet, right? I think that's when he No, he, he I think he was. Was he flipping? He definitely. Yeah, definitely. But um I can't remember for what reason why it didn't flip. Oh, he just uh, didn't happen to in that contest or he just, something? He just didn't just didn't bother for whatever reason. Yeah, so Gosh. John even says 03 Nate should have won. So we need to find that one. We need to see if that's oh, up yeah. somewhere. And uh, we need to watch that one because I would be interested. I just always remember being like, Travis should have gotten beat in the year before at X. Yeah. Than what he did, and we need to also find that X Fighters where I don't remember what year that was, but uh, against Ego Sato. Yeah, where you're like he won solely because his style is so good. Yeah. So at least we know that. So if Red Bull X, I don't think I think they've taken that website down now. Finally, Red Bull X Fighters website because they had like pretty much every matchup was on their site it was really good um nah it looks like they've oh they've taken it down god damn it no oh, well damn. that now we definitely have a lot of work on our hands to try and figure out which year no we're which putting event. the bat call out right now mm. between um uh Braden between John and Brett <laughs> yeah well uh, Braden Hollick and um, oh yeah and Psycho X 
whoever we watched. I'll link you guys to the um, actual video that we watched here. So that way, if you guys want to watch it with, you know, uh, Cam, Cameron Steele announcing it instead of us. Moto X Psycho. Um, but I will put the link in the description. So that way you guys can, um, like I said, watch it with other professional I, announcers. I'm not going to throw us under see. the bus like that, Steve. We're professional too. We're some. We're somewhat. We're semi. I I just subscribed to Moto X Psycho. Oh, but you so. didn't subscribe to my Rumble page. <laughs> this is on YouTube, <laughs> and I'm already paying for YouTube just so you don't need do to pay for Rumble. Ads. Yeah, I know, but I'm doing this so like we've got All no right. ads. <laughs> All right, John. He's not going to chat with you in the chat, so that's it. I'm just going to oh, have to. I'm fine, just going to have to convey and... everything that you say to him. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> he already said it earlier. He's like, "You got to get Steve on here." I'm like, "I'll make him get on." Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you bully me enough, I'll get on there. One All day. right, John. What what uh, Red Bull X fighters is it? I wonder if he feels the same way. He might not even know what we're talking about. He's like, what are you talking about? Yeah, because we probably made the whole thing up. No, there's for sure. And I remember <laughs> watching it and being like, how the hell did he just win that? No, we probably merged three stories into one. And then we've both told each other the same story <laughs> for the last year that we've now created our own memory. But I, th I think it is real. It's real. Um, we need to watch it so that way we, we can verify. That's it. Hey, but this is actually this is crazy. That court overflip uh from Adam Jones. I was just thinking about this. This is 06. We're now 2024. That's 18 years. And he still does it that big. I think we said that on the last one. He because he was in 07 best trick. And everything looks as big as it was then. I, I, the fact that only because I'm looking, I'm ago. looking at the thing right now. X Games 06, and I'm like, fuck me, that's nearly 20 years. Who's still riding? Adam Jones is killing it. Yeah, yeah. He out of that group, he's the only one that still. I mean, Travis, I guess rides um, occasionally, sporadically. But yeah, nobody else. <laughs> but when he, but when Travis comes out to ride occasionally, he yeah, does a backflip onto a front flip off of a yeah. scissor lift. I've always believed his brain processes stuff much faster than the rest of us. Um, I've always thought that he's not human. <laughs> I think he just. <laughs> I was I think, thinking he's another species. I think his brain interprets stuff so fast that, yeah. like, there's more time in the air for him to like do things because to he sees it he feels it i don't know he's yeah. got the force i, I don't know what's yeah. going on there he, god damn it but so i was there when he learned that um uh seat solid to one hand indie oh yeah yeah jason rowe that's a east oh, coast yeah. trick that's a east coast freestyle trick like there was yeah. back in the day, I, I want to say Scott Hanlon invented it. Um, yeah. And he he used to do let go tricks like as big as anybody as far as yeah. like rock solids, holy mans, holy grabs, any of that stuff. So he started doing them and then a bunch of people started doing them. Connors, Jason Rowe, a bunch of dudes. And then we had gone to Travis's house and Jason was doing and we were riding his course. And uh, it was awesome because all of a sudden Travis shows up. No. So one time I was there, he didn't come and road, didn't come and ride. He, we were riding and all of a sudden he comes from out of the woods. This is a true story. Like mm. from uh, like a hundred yards, not a hundred yards, 50 yards away from the ramp out of the woods. We're just riding around. He, I guess he waited for an opening. And all of a sudden we turn around. He's on a DR. <laughs> blast the ramp does a huge knack knack right. turns around and stops and just watches us ride and i'm just like i don't want to even ride anymore like that guy mm -hmm. just did a knack knack bigger than anything i've ever hoped to do on a dr yeah. and then just and probably in sneakers or something yeah exactly <laughs> i want to say it was a shorter ramp i don't think it was 75 i want to say it was like 60 or something but still oh, I would not that small so. 
for a DR. Man. Oh. Uh, so then another time I was there, he, uh, we were riding, and Jason was doing those, those whatever rock solids to one hand indies, and then Travis was like, "Oh, that's pretty cool," and then he just started doing them right behind him, and I was like, mm -hmm. "Oh, okay." <laughs> I, I dig it. Well, only because that was the version that I did. I hated doing holy mans. I hated doing holy grabs. I hated doing rock solids, but I would do a bar solid until the cows came home. Like I, I just felt way more comfortable just going back seat grab first, then let go. Um, so I, I was all about Travis on that one. That was good. Yeah. Travis is know. the man. I, I felt like when I did rock solids, like I was just too... I was just squashed. Like I couldn't, like Get my whole body up. and everything was too squashed. And I couldn't throw it. And I just, nothing felt right. But if you, if I did a seat grab, it was like your whole body's like stretched out more. And Travis is a big dude. So he probably also, I don't know, maybe he preferred that as well. Yeah. I had better luck with seat grab rock solids yeah. versus doing, getting back to rock solids. Cause again, my brain wasn't fast enough. So it was like, <laughs> just, so i cut a whole scrapping. other hand out <laughs> so i only had to move one hand you're just scrapping to get anything like plastics yeah oh there's a tire whatever i don't care muffler so one time in a contest in a, one of those ramp to ramp ifmas i came around and i went to do one of those sea crab rock solids and I let go and then just threw the other hand so i basically did a uh, oh. holy grab but yeah. in the air, like I didn't extend it because I was like, something's not right. And then yeah. I grabbed back on. I got back on. And I was like, oh, shit, I just did a holy grab. So then I went home and I, I'm like, I'm totally holy grabbing. And I tried for a yeah. whole day and could not get myself <laughs> to get my legs up and then let go. I was like, what is going on? I did it by accident one day. I did the exact same thing. <laughs> <laughs> exactly the same. And I'm like, yep, I'm going to holy grab this. I got it. Nope. Nope. Never. I, I guess I probably did. If I was lucky, I did 50 holy grabs ever. And they were all shite. Like that. I did one by accident and didn't even know what I did till I landed. And I was like, <laughs> Until you I never home. touched my other, I never touched my seat. That's what happened. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I mean, I, if I did 50, I would have been lucky. I, I definitely worked on it, but I, I couldn't get it. I just, and like, yeah, you'd watch Mason and you're just like, I, I do not understand. I don't know how you do I it. think they have superior pop. It's the same thing with like Brody, yeah. you know, like they're just very good at popping off of the ramp and getting themselves to float. That was the whole thing with uh, Scott Hanlon as well. Yeah. His pop was so good. He could just like tap his bike wherever he wanted to and just hover above it. You know, like I'm like, how the hell do you jump off of it that good? Like, I was always, like, yeah. fighting off of the pegs, like, Rawr! in the air, and then my bike yeah, goes same. sideways. That, yeah, and... exactly. That was how <laughs> I did it. It was very aggressive yeah. and not very fun. And then uh, it was, I look kind of like Mike Jones, just, like, shoving my bike around. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, <laughs> I, I, I put something up, actually. There was a, a picture or a video that Bilko put up. Oh, he did something like, you know, his super route that he does. And then he yeah. does the cliffhanger where he's doing the, the cliffhanger hump yeah. and all that crap. And I I just, I shared it on mine, on, on the Riders Lounge. And I just said, like, Bilko doing his best Mad Mike Jones impersonation. He's like, yeah. don't fucking, don't put me in the same sentence as Mike <laughs> Jones. I'm like, oh, come on. The shocker. <laughs> that's what he would do the seat grabs and then wiggle. Oh, yeah, that's... <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, they were awesome. I was, yeah, I dug them. Um, John <laughs> says Drake had some good pop, too. I would agree. He was, I mean, he's yeah. style master. So, of course. You know, any Absolutely. of those guys, you know, that's now that we're thinking about it. That really equates to a real smooth style, good pop. Think about the people yeah. with good pop. Levi, Brody, yep. Adam Jones, yep. Mike Mason, you know, yep. like if, if Brody Wilson. I might have already said that. 
but if you can like be just very smooth and pop off the ramp correctly then you don't have to you know like kick off once you're in the air and i would always like yeah. stutter step kick i'd be like boom boom it just that's how it happened and then my yeah. bike would go sideways and stuff so it was like yeah i think that's the key if i was gonna if i was gonna coach anyone to do freestyle yeah. which which i have been around people that were new and i'm just like just pop off your bike for an entire afternoon Learn yeah. how to use the compression of the ramp and your suspension and crouch in and feel it and pop yourself off. Because if you could yeah. figure that out, then it's all gravy after that. Because that's most yeah. people's issue trying to learn seat grabs, right? Because they don't get like pop. Exactly. It's just water and brown, man. It's all gravy. But it's it's true, though. Like, Actually, I was just thinking before, because there's probably one rider... Because you're absolutely right. It comes with like those guys that have really good style. And one dude who's like got super aggressive, not a, well, I don't know if I'd say super aggressive style, but very strong dude is Ryan Brown from Australia. And he has huge ruler flips, huge switchblade flips, but he does, and like, and he fucking throws it. Like uh -huh. it's all muscle. But then he's got massive holy grabs, and I, same kind of thing. It's like that almost doesn't make sense. Like you, you kind of want those guys who have got a bit of finesse yeah. and just like let Flow. it go. Yeah. But he's like this massive dude, and he's just like fuck it, I'm floating anyway. I don't give a fuck. And <laughs> I, I don't know how he does it. It's so good. Does um, I was thinking of another big guy. Does Ackerman do? Uh... No. Holy grabs? Andre Villa. Andre Villa does holy grabs. But he's also a style guy. Yeah. I would say he's he also, was... He's also a Viking. So yeah, he's, he's huge. Big. But he's like... <laughs> he is tall. But he's not like J.O. Archer. No. Different no. build. He's... <laughs> J.O.'s like square. <laughs> uh, Andre's <J> long. <laughs> yeah, that's it. I think... There's only someone, there's only one other dude that would be come close to J.O. and that'd be probably Luke Ackerman. Like yeah. Those two, they're just two fridges. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, so I would say, though, Villa had a very good, same thing, floaty style, you know, was yeah. very smooth. Um, yeah, and yeah. I, I just came to this conclusion that it all pop makes the person's yeah. style whether you're going to have mm. to jump off your pegs and then grab your bike and be like, heart attack. And, and oh. muscle it. Or just or... be like, wing, and fling yourself up upside down. That's it. Just let the bike do its work. And the funny thing is, out of all of that, that we're talking about all the style and everything, and Travis still kicked everyone's ass, he coming up need... short and going long and... Because that was his style. His style was excitement. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> so I, you can be as perfect. Yeah. And everything true. is possible. As it's. Well, how about Jones? Wins. Right? Like, how good is Jones, but how not exciting it? Clifford out of Tante. Yeah. Too yeah. smooth. I believe, I firmly yeah. believe Clifford was docked or just not rewarded because he never yeah. looked out of control and no, he he's... didn't race around the course and i think that like he basically didn't get judged as well yeah. because of that which is a crazy scenario you know like i would say levi has the the perfect style right because he's yeah. smooth but it's still he's contorting himself and it's yeah. just violent enough where, like, you're like, he's, you, he looks like, when he goes to it, his pop is perfect, but then when he goes to extend, he's like, ah, yeah. you know, so exactly. it has both the smoothness of a good pop and then the extension, like, snap at the end. Yeah, that's true. It's actually very true. I, I, I still put Levi probably as my number one. For style wise, style and, dude, yeah. he's pretty. I, I think he's still number one. 
okay, if if this is the chat that we're going to have, I'm going to then throw out the name of Tom Pages. There's a dude who won a lot of competitions. Okay, he did have very technical tricks, but he basically created his own... Yeah. He created Genre. his own competition <laughs> that nobody else was going to beat him at anyway. But he was exciting enough that you didn't know if he was going to land everything. Yeah. But he did. Like, I, I always remember, like, when I watched him coming into the ramp, I'm like, ooh, you know, I didn't... That coming into the ramp, it wasn't perfect. That part of his, it, it that didn't look stylish <laughs> to me. Well, there you go. That's a little bit of the Travis running exactly. the corners and kind of looking like, you know, he's rushing out of control, and it's exciting. Exactly. Yeah, he looked out of control, and then he does everything perfect in the air. Okay. And then you're like, "Fuck, is he gonna land it?" And then you know, swooping yeah. around and holding on to it and then he won everything for like five seven eight years but that is the the travis kenny bartram style right on the ground on the gas rush to the mm -hmm. ramp look exciting that's it. that's it that's what it's all about it is and we so know like, it. this whole thing of everybody being like you got to go slow into ramp so that way you can get a good pop screwed yeah. me my whole career i should have just been like ah! yeah same why was i trying <laughs> to learn shit that what i thought was the right way i know why because i wasn't good enough to ride at a ramp that fast and then do anything i needed to go slow and yeah. let my brain because i was scared to just charge into a ramp like that is the problem <laughs> that's the, again though it's like that's the whole thing. Those guys are more confident and they're riding with that confidence, which is why they are where they are. Yeah, that's it. That's it. I would say, like, when I when I did go into comps, though, I kind of... I definitely didn't do it to even 10% of Travis's level, but I always rode three times faster than I'd ever rode. Really? See, and, I, yeah yeah i was like when i rode comps i was like i didn't i don't even actually think i took a breath like generally i'd finish and i'd near on pass out because i didn't breathe yeah like, for 90 <laughs> seconds and then and finish him oh fuck me i'm done yeah. <laughs> it's just i'm out <laughs> um but yeah it wasn't that exciting <laughs> that was you should have crashed that, was that would have helped What's that? You should have crashed. That would have helped with the excitement. Oh, I did that enough. We're on here almost two hours. God damn. All right. Let's wrap this one. Okay, <laughs> again, we're back at one o'clock in the morning. Yeah, and uh -oh. I even got home on time. We got going on time. It's still one o'clock. Oh, thank you very much for getting home on time. I, <laughs> I just finished my last uh, last night of German tonight for the for that semester. Sprechen die Deutsch? Yeah, we did nothing again. <laughs> what a surprise. We got in there and it was this me and the other Indian dude. And she's like, well, it's the last lesson. There's no point teaching anything new. You should become see a German month. teacher. <laughs> I probably did well. <laughs> I don't know if I'd do a better job than her, but I may actually look like I'm trying to teach somebody. So there you yeah. go. Anyway, so I finished that up, got home, and here we go again. But uh, there you go. No, nah, that was a that was cool. It was cool to go back and see it all, and to know that Travis won over Colin McRae, and I called it. There you go. You're gonna you're just gonna brag my, about my, that. My, my brain next. muscles starting <laughs> to work a little bit. I'm starting to get little. You're gonna brag pieces. about remembering one thing from 2006 <laughs> for the next ten years. <laughs> little pieces of my memory maybe are starting to come back i know that's how i feel too i remember uh, stuff all the time and i'm like wait whoa need more brain was that a memory or did i make it up yeah that's true too <laughs> that's the problem awesome man thank you very much uh thanks to everyone on rumble i hope you enjoyed it i didn't because i don't have rumble yet um, they i will it. jump on i'll uh, jump on john enjoyed it He's the only one that comments in there. Everybody else is just creeping. Everyone's um, creeping. Everybody cool. go to twowheelsofreedom.com and check out. I'm going to be putting, I keep saying this, I'm going to be putting the schedule for the Two Wheels of Freedom Fest, April 19th and 20th up there. Uh, schedule of events. 
And, um, yeah, I'm going to get the, uh, I've been doing some interviews with some, which actually you guys saw it was on the channel already. I did an interview with Javier. It's not up on, John, uh, Steve didn't see it cause he does not have rumble, I but, uh, yeah. I did it live on here. I didn't, I haven't put it any place else yet. I'm going to put it up on the other ones, but, um, yeah, a lot more moto stuff. And then also I have a podcast with one of my comedian friends coming up too. So That'll be the Clint That's Esposito cool. show and then all the dirt bike stuff on here. So uh, thank you guys for coming in and checking it out. Thank you, John, for the, uh, he says, consider me a bra, fellas. I'm here for support. Ah, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what? Why would I do that? Um, thank you bra? for the information, John. If I ever make money on this, I will pay you for information. Did I? I mean, I... <laughs> It, it, it costs me more to send these free beers over to you, but <laughs> when the money starts rolling in, mate, you're on the payroll. Give him a coupon so he can just go to his local liquor store ah, and get it, and then mean, you man. don't have to do anything. I need to get coupons. <laughs> I've already run out. Like This was my last beer. Oh, I'm gonna shit. Go find more. Your month supply I, I is gone? I need coupons. Your month supply is out? Yeah, it's done. Oh, on on right. dry January. Till next month. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody. We're out. Thank you, guys. See ya.